Welcome back to Joe of Gaming! We are about to play, for the first time ever in the history of history, my, one of my favorite games of all time, Banjo-Kazooie! Yeah! And by, uh, uh, first time, it's me. I've, <laughs> I've played a little bit of it, but that's been more than a decade ago. Yeah. Yeah, no, we, uh... Oh, God. Back in the before times, if we'd ever had a show before, we would have played this. Uh, but I would have played it, and so... Crandon yeah. is is not not a totally blind playthrough because like he has literally watched me play through the entire game. Yes, but that was over half a decade ago, so it's not like he remembers. Yeah, <laughs> you know that that's honestly the part that hurts me the most about growing up mm -hmm. is the fact that now I can say things like two decades ago, yeah. and it not be before I was born. True. Yeah, now you can say three decades ago, and some of it is not before you were born. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that very much. Let's not talk about that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what, you don't want to talk about how we're old? No. And how <laughs> if uh, if somebody wanted to make an equivalent show of that 70s show, it would be that 2000s show? No, I don't want to talk about that. No, I don't. Or that, like, 2010s yeah, show? Yeah, and how, how Tootie, uh, Banjo's little sister... Yeah, is about to get abducted. She, uh, well, I was going to say about how she's pushing 40. Oh. And Goggles <laughs> is probably dead. Bottles? Uh, yeah. Bottles. Hi there. Oh, 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 oh. When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure! Really, what are you gonna do? I think Nintendo should do another game like this. Uh, they would have to do a game like this first. I know. I think Rare should do another game like this. That's fair. They did, It was except for it was called Platonic and it was ukulele. Yeah, but... Of course, that was like seven years ago or something. Yeah, and I started that game. It's alright. I enjoyed it okay. I mean, I didn't play through the whole thing, because at the time, I'm not sure what the issue was, but it kept crashing my computer. Gotcha. So that's not ideal. But I don't know if that was a game thing or a my computer thing or some combination thereof. Oh, no. Boy, this sure is a lot of story. Yeah. Very, very story-heavy game, Banjo-Kazooie. Also, once we finish this cutscene, there's like... Two more cutscenes in the entire game. <laughs> yeah. And that's all the story there is. <laughs> Dang. Don't scratch and bite. Yeah. It's the same thing I say when I'm kidnapping children. Oh, I mean, no. what? Somebody's got her. Wake up! Wake up! It's me! Kazooie! I'm ready to go on the adventure! Also, your ki your little kid sister's getting kidnapped or whatever. Yo! -hoo 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 -hee! The whole my name's Banjo. All right, bro. You've just seen ninety percent of the story of this game. Hello, bottles. How's it going, bottles? Nice to see you. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie. We've been neighbors for a very long time. Yeah, like 15 years now. And you're just now saying hi? What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? It's especially bad, too, because, like, Bottles popped out and was just talking to Tootie like they knew each other. Yeah. At least a little bit. And yet they've never spoken to Banjo. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, especially because he's got molehills all around here. Like, he doesn't live in Spiral Mountain, but he clearly goes here sometimes. Exactly. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're ready. You bet we're good enough. You know how to play Banjo because you're already right. Uh, I mean, I have an idea, and I'm sure I can figure it out. Yeah. You know, uh, there's a button that jumps, there's a button that does other stuff. Probably some third thing. Hell yeah, bro. You basically got it mastered. Hey. 
Yeah, man. Damn, you just killed a man. Yeah. A carrot man. And I'm going to kill this onion, too. Man, I gotta say, uh, really weird that Spiral Mountain just has enemies just hanging out. Right? Of course, I guess it kind of doesn't. Because these guys aren't here. Like, if you, if you choose to do the tutorial, those guys aren't there. Unless you do the tutorial where he teaches you how to fight first, I'm pretty sure. Uh-huh. So... Can you go get that fucking collectible, bro? Yeah, man. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm having a feeling that either this isn't collectible yet. No, it is. Okay. You're just not doing it right. <laughs> okay. Ah, here we go. Now I can actually see stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Any game I play, I basically always zoom the camera out as far as humanly possible. Ooh. I think it's mostly just because I have bad reaction time. So I need as much vision as possible to even have a chance of seeing something. Hell yeah, you fucking got it, bro! I figured it out eventually. And I can't swim yet, can I? Uh, yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah, that's one of the things you learn how to do in the tutorial. And I mean, if you get in the water even before he teaches you how... You can't go underwater, but you can still, uh, like, swim on the surface, so. Gotcha. Hell yeah. You've got one-third of the total collectibles for Spiral Mountain, bro. How do you feel? Uh, I feel pretty great. Hell yeah. I'm I'm excited because, like, legitimately, this, is, this isn't a game that I had growing up. And I think most of my interactions with it were when I had to go to the kids, uh... To the Boys and Girls Club, and ah. sometimes people would have a copy of it. Hell yeah. Is this... Is there a collectible here that I can get, or should I just... Uh, yes, there is a collectible here that you can get. Do Man, I... Man, it's really unfortunate for these rocks that they're alive. Like, that's gonna be a pretty shitty existence, right? Like, they've just been living here for who knows how long. What did he say? He's not going to help you because you told him you didn't need help. Oh. But yeah, you, you do need to destroy those rocks. There you go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is not the most important move in the game. It's questionable why it's even in the tutorial. Gotcha. I thought you said I got something for doing Oh. <laughs> you do? <laughs> I found it. <sighs> Hell yeah, bro. Because, like, the tutorial, he teaches you important stuff usually, right? Mm hmm Like, he teaches you at the one where you got that first honeycomb. That's where he teaches you how to jump. Um, at the one, at, at the underwater one, he teaches you how to swim underwater. Uh, there's a, a molehill where he teaches you how to climb trees. Less useful, but still, like... Probably didn't need to be a molehill thing, but, like, it's whatever. Yeah. Um, there's one where he teaches you combat. Oh, this is not where I wanted to go. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, the adventure! We're ready! Well, yeah, no, me. you probably want to try to collect the rest of the, uh... Yeah. ...the stuff. Oh! Ow. So I see that there is fall damage. There is fall damage. There is a way to completely negate fall damage. Yeah. But A, it's not accessible to you yet, and B, you probably don't know how to do it. And I'm not going to tell you because I'm a jerk. Okay. <laughs> Unless you were to ask me to when it's time, then I guess I could tell you. Ooh. Ooh. Can I get that yet? Yes. Okay. You just have to believe in yourself, bro. Hell yeah, too easy! That's an extra life. You probably won't need that guy. Hopefully. But, I mean, who knows? Anything could happen. Yeah. One of the unfortunate things, because Banjo is old, on, other than the fact that it even has a live system, because lives are so antiquated, uh, is that like when you reset the game, 
your lives reset too. Oh. Which I guess we could just make a save state instead of like actually turning the game off. That way your collected lives would still be there. Hell yeah, there's only one more left. Yeah, that, that was my plan. Because honestly, uh, when I was playing through Ocarina of Time uh, through this, mm -hmm. like it just, it makes loading into the game so much Easier. faster. Yeah. yeah. True. That's fair. God damn uh, I don't think we said we're playing, uh, as you would probably expect in 2024, uh, we're playing Banjo on uh, Nintendo Switch Online. Yeah. Which is not the optimal version, because it's not as good as the Xbox 360 version, which you can also play on the Xbox One, which I don't have. Oh, uh, or I Or an do. Xbox Series X, which I don't have. I have those things. Uh, nice. But they're not here, because we're at my house. Right. Uh, but you can play the Xbox version on that. You can also play it on your Xbox PC if you have the proper software, which I do have. Hell yeah. But that program kind of sucks. Oh. So, since there's another option that works a little better than that program works, um, we're doing that instead. Not that I have any issue, because don't get me wrong, like, people have put a ton of work into Xbox emulation PC. Uh, technology. Yeah. So that you can have your Xbox PC. You got it! You got all the collectibles! You're in a hole! Hooray! I got more health! It's it's really interesting to me just how far... Just how much difference there is and how far along emulation for some things is versus others. Because it's like the super old consoles, you know, NES, SNES, all that kind of stuff. Those are pretty much perfect. Right. But for the less popular old consoles, they range from like non-existent to barely functioning to functions well, but like some of them they want to charge for, which I don't necessarily disagree with entirely. Cause like it is a shit ton of work that you have to put in to make it. Oh, for sure. Um, to some of the newer ones, like 64 emulation is good, but not amazing. Then you got like dolphin, which is fucking spectacular. Dolphin. Ah, it's the second of three cutscenes! Hell yeah. Oh no, she's all scared. She is scared. Not that I blame her. She got attacked by that. Yeah. And the only person there to try <laughs> to help her was bag. Bottles. Rescue, he will not. Klungo. Pull the switch, I'm tired of being an ugly witch! I like how... Because she got pissed because Tootie is more attractive than her. Uh-huh. And she thought she was the most attractive. But now she's just like, no, the the cauldron's right. I'm ugly. Even though the cauldron didn't even say that. <clears throat> Technically, all the cauldron said was just that she's not the most attractive person in Spiral Mountain. Gotcha. There it is. There's Level Mumbo's one. Mountain. Too bad it's locked. Guess we'll go home. Going to level one. Hey, yeah, bro. Put that jiggy you found in there. I didn't find a jiggy. Oh, wait. Shit. <laughs> well, then I guess we'll go home. Uh, I don't think I found any of those yet. Come back when you found it, idiot. Yeah. God. I sure am. Can't wait for comment section to be like, I can't believe... He didn't know to go get the one that's at the very b opening Yeah, the one the that's, the, that's right God. there. That's very visible. That I should have turned the camera around to make sure. But that's the thing. It's specifically placed so that you won't see it initially. Yeah. And then he can say, I think I saw one back at the front of the lair. And then that you will see it as you leave. See, the problem is, is that where that was like, it, it is it is an excellent idea for them to do. Uh, it's just, it's not 1990, what, like 1999 anymore. And I've played enough 3D games in the 20 some odd years since that I should have thought to have, you know, flung the camera around. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think there's anything wrong with not having thought to look at that especially when there's a very clear path they, that it shows you true do it man i forgot how like 
low res this game was on the Nintendo 64. Yeah. When I played the Xbox 360 version, the Xbox 360 version is what my memories of this version look like. Uh huh. And so when I actually see this version again, I'm like, oh wait, no, this one kind of looks shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so I... wait. Huh. I, I thought I had to go through the picture, like in Mario. No. No, uh, it has pictures like in Mario. But the, the pictures just open the doors to the actual place. Gotcha. And I need the... I need the... That... To go up this thing, right? Right. Yeah, if you try to run on on these hills, just as normal banjo, you're just it's a mumbo slide token. off the side. Hell yeah! Ecom bokum. God, I love banjo so much. So one thing that you won't remember from our playthrough, a because I probably didn't die, and b because we played the Xbox 360 version, is that if you die or if you leave the level. Uh huh. All the notes that you've collected get uncollected. Yes, I remember that for the for the video that you and Ian made. Oh, that's fair. Go watch that video that Ian and I made. It was the last video we ever made, I think. And we've talked about making more videos since, and we haven't. So I don't know if we ever will. <laughs> it happens. But uh, but yeah, uh, one of the things, and, and I, it's funny because someone actually a little bit ago left a comment because we said i forget exactly how we phrased it um you found a jiggy Woo! uh but one of the things we said about one of the levels in that video mm -hmm. was how uh i think it was rusty bucket bay talking about how it's got a bottomless pit mm -hmm. is that it, it works against like the core design of banjo kazooie um because if you have a bottomless pit and a game where you explore a bunch, and then if you die, you, uh, you have to recollect everything. That fucking sucks. Well, someone left us a comment about how that's actually not part of the core design of Banjo, because they didn't want it to be that way. Uh -huh. They wanted them to stay collected. The technology just wasn't there for it, uh, or whatever. Oh... And it's like, okay, yes, I I already knew that they didn't want it to work like that. They wanted them to stay collected, and they just couldn't make it happen. But in the game that they released, if you don't collect them all, they disappear. And that they knew that that's how the game was going to work. Mm -hmm. So by putting a bottomless pit in there, that's bad game design. Because you might... Like, there's no guarantee of when you're going to find the bottomless pit room. Mm -hmm. You could have 97 notes, and you go in there, and then you die, and you're just SOL. Right. And so, like, I get where that person was coming from. Like, yeah, I, I get it. That's not the intentional, like, design challenge of the game. But it is literally the challenge of the game. So True. it is definitely part of Bandit Kazooie's core design. And there's my complaining about people's comments on videos on a channel that is not even this channel for the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like when I was all hot and bothered about uh, whatever stupid <laughs> thing in, in Wind Waker. Yeah, because where... you didn't do something or you did do something or I forget. No, it was because I wasn't attacking the, the, the laser eye guys right. Oh, yeah. And it didn't, it didn't actually bother me. I don't care. I just, it's like, oh man, critic section. <laughs> They're going to tear me apart for this one. Yeah. I don't know. It's just one of those things. Like, people, people generally mean well. Yeah. Like, so, I, so long as a comment's not hateful. Yeah. Like, it, it, it just, just. It's fine. But yeah. I still don't want to hear it. It's like in that same, in, in that same Banjo Kazooie video that Ian and I made. We talk about, um, the, the shark. That's in some of the levels. Mm -hmm. uh, Bruce. And I... I <laughs> yeah, Bruce the shark. Uh, and I think Ian wrote into the script something about how he's invincible. Which is technically not true. Um, you can kill him. Mm -hmm. But A, 
It's not exactly obvious how, B, it's not permanent, and C, it doesn't really matter, because that's functionally never going to come up. Okay. But there were quite a few people who commented, you know, well, actually, you can kill the shark. And it's like, I'm, yes, I know you can. Hey, I think, I think you're holding down something on the controller. I'm not even touching the controller. And the controller is not connected. Because I've lost. I've lost Kazooie. Uh, try pulling the controller out and putting it back in the thing. There you go. Three controllers? Yeah, uh, ooh. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you can't. You can't play with uh oh, God damn it. with just the one. Uh I'm making things worse. I finally got to bro. Okay. I've I figured it out. Okay. That was weird. That was weird. And we're back! Hopefully. Yeah! Yeah, everything seems to be working. Maybe my Joy-Cons are finally starting to drift. Maybe? I mean, I hardly ever use them, so if they had, I wouldn't have noticed. And, which is odd, because you've got one of the second-generation Switches, which... Right, with, where they don't really have that problem anymore. Of course, maybe just because they don't usually doesn't mean they don't always, I guess. True. Jinjo! I forget what we were talking about. Oh, the shark. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... For all those people who are coming, like, well, actually, the shark can be killed. I just really wanted to comment back at some of those people. Yeah, I know. I've seen YouTube videos about Banjo where that's, like, the one fun fact everybody knows, too. But it, it's not relevant. It doesn't come up in the actual game. Like... At a certain point, you have to look at things as, like, people are going to play them. Even if it's not one-to-one -one with literal reality. Yeah. But I didn't ever do that, because, like, what would that accomplish? Yeah. It's one of those things, it's like on Twitter all the time, I see stuff that I'm like, I just want to respond. I just want to tell this person how much of a fucking idiot they're being. But I don't. Yeah. Because what would, what would be gained? I, I see stuff like that all the time, and I'm just like, no one will ever care. You know? Believe me, bro, I understand. And I'll understand twice as hard next time on On The Shelf Gaming.